So here is a simple use of uh, coffee grounds. Uh, you can use the coffee grounds in your garden by just uh, removing the lids or removing the covers and uh, empty them into a clean uh, bowl and yes so uh, some people say that the coffee grounds are acidic but uh, you know the acid content is already gone uh, the coffee actually so uh, there is very less acidity left after the coffee is drained out of these grounds so um, it, they don't really much affect the acidity of the soil I don't usually check the pH of the soil but uh, uh, I don't think you know I that uh, this coffee grounds would really impact the acidity of the soil plus uh, if you are still in doubt you can uh, give the coffee grounds to the plants who love a little bit acidic soil so in that way you would be on the safe side in case you know you still have the uh, coffee acidity in the grounds um, so I will drain them one by one some of them have uh, developed their fungus but it's okay um, plus uh, some people say that uh, the coffee grounds can keep the uh, keep the pest away from the from the soil pests like uh, fungus gnats or the black flies but I don't really think so because coffee grounds if stay on the topsoil they develop uh, uh, they develop the um, fungus after some time because the resistance to hinder the fungus actually goes down with time as it decomposes so because ultimately it, everything decomposes and it will attract the fungus. Plus I have a few tea bags that I have uh, dried and washed. If you are using milk with the tea then you have to wash the tea bags after you use them because the milk I don't want any milk to stay inside the tea bags and uh, uh, this is to avoid any bacterial growth or any diseases because any animal product in the compost can promote the um, you know uh, bacterial diseases or viral diseases so we better uh, we better avoid any animal products except uh, the shells for the eggs but you can use the shells only after properly washing them so this is the lemon plant that I pruned um, a few days ago uh, the lemon plant usually likes a somewhat acidic soil I will use this uh, water brush to loosen the top soil and then I will pour in the coffee grounds so here is my sweet marjoram uh, this is a, a culinary and a medicinal plant you can use either way uh, it's a species of actually oregano but it's usually called marjoram and I will roughly mix the coffee ground in the topsoil because I won't go deep I don't want to disturb the roots and there we go when we water it uh, it will go eventually uh, in, in the deeper soil so it's fine for now 